<laughs> did, you, did, it, did you read my look? Yeah, I knew it was going to. It is a long path. It they is got, a long path. They got pieces. Sources tell me it's a long path to June. They got pieces. But it's going to be an interesting ride. Yeah. Joining us is Toronto Maple Leafs forward Patrick Marlowe. Patrick, really appreciate it. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, first off, happy belated birthday. Yeah. We would have gotten you something, but the serenade from your teammates seemed like it took care of it for everybody. Yeah, no, that was uh, was not expecting that actually. That was uh, pretty cool that they did that uh, out there at uh, training camp, and I played it back, and I'm pretty sure there's no Grammys on the way. <laughs> you seem to have meshed with guys like Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner's off the ice. Uh, you were playing in the league when they were in diapers. How exactly does that dynamic work with those kids? Um, I don't know. They're just really fun, uh, fun guys to be around. I think uh, obviously having hockey in common is kind of where everything is based off of those guys um, are great players in their own right and they're they're continuing to get better and uh, I just love being on the ice and being around them and, and seeing them uh, you know continue to grow. I remember when you were the youngest player in the league when you broke in and now you're one of the oldest. Is there any different challenges that these younger players face than you did say way back in 1997 when you broke into the league. Do the kids have it any different. Yeah, probably the the social media, um, all of that uh, is a little bit uh, a lot different than than when I broke in. Uh, so you know, I, I just hopefully uh, you know these guys are, are pretty good at what they do, and uh, uh, I think they they've been schooled on on uh, how to handle social media, and, and uh, you know just you don't want to see see them you know read something and may, may let that affect their game at all and but uh, you know like I said that we've there's there's people helping them in, in that area and uh, so they, they're pretty pretty good about it and they're pros so uh, they take care of that part of it. All right the biggest headline of the hockey offseason obviously John Tavares joining you guys you had conversations with John before July 1st you also ironically had to make the tough decision of leaving the only team you've ever known at the pro level. How did that conversation go with John, and what was your reaction when you heard the news he was a Leaf? Um, well, he, he was very well prepared when I talked to him on the phone. He had, uh, obviously, he had uh, a list of questions he wanted to know answers to uh, about the city, about the, you know, about the team, um, about, uh, you know, kind of maybe give him a little bit of background on what I went through. I think it's a little bit different for 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 everybody with uh, you know different situations, uh, different things that play into it. But uh, yeah, I just tried to answer all his questions as best as I could, and uh, and then uh, to hear the news that that he actually did uh, sign with with Toronto was uh, you know I kind the excitement that that our house had uh, when we heard it was was pretty amazing. It was a special moment for for our family to to hear those words that uh, he had become a Maple Leaf. Very cool. All right, let's rewind for a second. Your old team had a pretty good offseason in getting one of the best defensemen in hockey. Assuming that you've talked to your old teammates, how are they feeling after adding Eric Carlson to the lineup? Uh, I'm extremely excited, I think, to have him uh, on their club, obviously. To add somebody of his caliber is, is you know, just boosts your, your club uh, that much more. Um, yeah, they're, they're extremely excited, and I think they're, they're excited for the season. All right, the captaincy. A lot of talk about it in Toronto. The sea changed hands quite a few times when you were in San Jose on a team full of leaders, yeah. mind you. Do we put too much stock, Patrick, in the letter on the chest? And, and what does leadership mean to you? Uh, I think there was a time where it, uh, you know, it meant, you know, quite a bit. Uh, I mean, it still means a lot, but I think nowadays it's still... It's a, it's more of a group effort. Even if uh, there's there's players that aren't wearing a letter, um, they're still they still have to be leaders. I think the the team aspect of it that way has uh, has grown. You know, since when I started. So um, yeah, you, every team now you always hear them talking about their core group of guys, and you know that's that's probably six seven guys on their team that are considered uh, the core and the guy, those are the guys that everybody else looks up to and, and learns from and, and and pulls the you know the majority of the weight. All right so uh, William Nylander still doesn't have a contract. You were on teams in the past and you've been around for a while when teams or players excuse me missed time because of a contract dispute. 
How do players handle that kind of situation? Do you reach out or you just let them handle their own business? Um, I think you, you kind of just reach out and be supportive. I know, you know I've, I've texted uh, Willie a couple times just to see how he's doing. And uh, obviously they're in, they're in a business situation, so there's not, uh, not a whole lot of uh, um, you know, inside uh, business talk going on. It's just uh, how you doing and uh, how are things going and how you holding up and, and kind of just, uh, just to let them know that uh, you know, I'm thinking about them and uh, you know, we'd love to have them back when everything works out. Uh, you've been playing a bit with Austin Matthews on your line this preseason. What makes Austin easy to play with, and what do you need to adapt to personally? Uh, probably the, the easiest part about playing with Austin is like uh, he hounds the puck. I think he, you know, he if he loses that puck, he's he's, he's going to get it back nine times out of ten. Uh, in the corners, you know, he battles hard and has great uh, great vision and, and great. Uh, puck protection skills so for me it's uh, just getting open and and uh, being ready for that puck at all times and I think that was you know getting used to that again uh, is uh, is how I you know I love to play and, and want to play and uh, just those little quick give and goes those quick little plays that uh, don't look like much but they, they create a lot of space for you out there. All right, you've been on some pretty good teams in the past. Where does this season and the possibilities that surround this team rank in comparison to those others? Uh, I mean, it's it's uh, it's up there for sure. Obviously, the 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 skill level on this team is elite, um, and now we have to focus on on the process and and what's going to make us, uh, you know. A, a team that that can compete every, each and every night and, and get points and put put those up and uh, as the season gets going and we as we get closer towards the you know to the end of uh, the season and making playoffs and and heading into heading into playoffs we got to make sure that our game and our team are, are feeling good but also sticking to that process at the same time so um, so we can be successful. You've also been a part of teams with some expectations around it, some weight on your shoulders. As a team, how do you handle the constant pressure that can sometimes surround a team? Uh, I think uh, what I was talking about with uh, with the process, I think that's uh, that should be our, our main con uh, focus this year is uh, how we need to play in order to give ourselves the best chance of winning. and and. Uh, and if we we cement that and get a good foundation with the process, it'll be uh, we stick to that throughout the season. We you know that can't uh, start uh, you know branching out on our on our own and focusing on on different things that uh, you don't have control over, but uh, just on the things that we do uh, that'll that'll make us a you know a hard team to beat. This right. is going to be an interesting year, Patrick. Really appreciate it. Good luck this season, man. All right, thanks for having me.